That's right, the power linguist is back. It's because I'm too legit to quit. Lots of people sent messages asking, where the hell is the power linguist? What's been going on? Well, lots of things have happened. Lots of things have changed. You know, I started back when there was no big Patreon going on, no paywalls, no super chats, monetization actually of the channel didn't even exist now it does exist there's patreon none of these mills or sub mills especially the sub mills are doing anything unless they're getting a whole lot of money but it's time to come back and talk about language learning and also linguistics i see that there are some people who are actually qualified to talk about linguistics finally into the space but their background does not parallel mine with the minority languages and trying to learn languages that are unscripted. Still, that challenge was never answered. Some of the people who were around back then, we're talking uh, over 10 years ago, are gone. Moses, for example, who was a uh, hackneyed bad learner, he had a good memory and that's all he did was a, a bad parrot of different things. People asked me at the time, when he died to make a lot of comments and stuff I didn't because I didn't feel like it was going to go anywhere. There are people who are doing what he tried to do and actually able to do it. And I think you know you can find those people. There are people who are talking about linguistics and saying, "Hey, this is what you need to know about learning a, a new language, what you linguistically can use." But they're really not talking about phonotactics and phonological rules that much and that's because they didn't go through this there there are a lot of types of linguists right a lot of them didn't go through learning unscripted languages and field linguistics a lot of people didn't do go to a field linguistics school i did that's why that challenge to benny and and to steve what's his face and moses never was answered because they could never learn an unscripted language and a lot of the people who are still on could not learn an unscripted language. Uh, I've moved continents since the days when I was talking about everything and and we were going into some detail. Now like a lot of people nowadays, see I started before there was a before there was monetization for the channels you did it because of the love of the ch of the topic that's gone sub mills of course want this high production value spending a lot of money on the editing and all that which didn't used to exist but that does now everyone thinks it's mr beast for everything and he's making actually billions of dollars doing what he's doing and he has teams and he has people helping him that doesn't it didn't exist with us still doesn't exist for me and I don't have a Patreon thing, I don't have the paywall, I don't have the super chats, all these things. People are making loads of money, I mean hundreds of thousands of dollars on YouTube, especially in the political arena commentating. There are those people though in the language uh, community, I hate to use that word, who are making lots of money. I never was. and. I put a lot of information out there that's worth tens of thousands of dollars. A lot of people haven't gone and looked at that because one of the things that people still haven't learned is research skills. They don't know how to do a literature review or in this in this case a video review of extant material. So I have noticed though, however, though speaking of the fact that I am an academic linguist that I have been uh, I, I, I've been cited over 70 times in other academic uh, papers and stuff, which is pretty good, you know. Now, I don't know about the current people who are on that are actually touting the fact that they are linguists, uh, academic linguists. I don't think they've been cited that much. I don't know. I haven't looked. But I'm going to be back talking about languages because there are there is a new crop of people. And the problem is the sub mills have no damn research ability. They just don't have it. The mills didn't have it either, but the sub mills are just, they are really, it's really horrible. And one of the things I'm going to talk about is the fact that they don't even understand generations, all these people coming up with these new names. And they don't even list since 1900 all the different generations. Because <laughs> when they try to do that, they're going to find out that what they've done again is try to semantic drift change what an actual generation is eras will not be equal between the different generations one of the keys that they don't know what the hell they're talking about uh, on to languages 
I will be making uh, responses to certain different things that I see. I've seen some videos that, that, that need responses. Some people who have gone into some sort of detail, but it's kind of a hackneyed, vapid level. Um, they don't really get to it because, again, coming from a field linguistics background and having to look at things uh, from that perspective is hugely different than people who have, don't have that background. And uh, I'll talk about... Uh, some of the people from back, uh, people ask me what you know, what it, Benny. I mean, Benny, Benny, the uh, <laughs> the Irish Polly Claude, as I called him. I don't still hasn't gotten to the gym, I don't think. But some of the other people, Steve, has not changed anything at all. I think Arguelles is now in the United States, and st I saw that he finally learned a little bit about fun. <laughs> phonological rules and such I mean these are this is basic stuff for a field linguist you know anyway so that's it I just it's a welcome back I'm back uh, a lot of people have seen my channel it's like what's going on yeah I, I'm bringing back I'm also do, doing my other stuff on here my self-defense stuff and uh, professional fighting stuff will be on this channel all the canine dog stuff is on another channel that's all on another channel now so yeah, the people will say, what, what's happened? What's been going on? Well, I've been uh, putting a lot of effort into my canine dog channel. So check that out. It's, a, uh, it's not on this channel. It's on a, a different channel, the top dog canine training channel. You can look it up on YouTube, doing things, again, that other people have not been able to do. So if you you're, you thought the power linguist was shutting them down, I'm doing the same thing in the canine world. So anyway, that's just a little background it's jumping around a lot because, again, I'm not getting paid to do this. <laughs> but tell your friends, the power linguist is back. And remember, as some of the people who have t sent me messages, you know, it's too legit to quit. <laughs>